everyone. In today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I prepare some of the frozen treats. Thank you, laptop. Some of the frozen treats that I use for the dogs. So with dogs, you obviously need to have mental stimulation of some sort <laughs> and physical. So physical, you can deal with toys. Thank you, Pickle. That was definitely, definitely need to put those all over the floor. I just cleaned as well. Uh, but mental stimulation is a really important one. So what I like to use is I like to use Kongs, which are fantastic. They're like a really durable, tough toy. And they've got a hole in the bottom that you can put, say, you can put some peanut butter into it. Or you can put some, some natural yogurt and stuff like that. And give it straight to them, at which point they'll take like 10 minutes or so to go away. With it, and you can just give it to them because it's a Kong. It's safe. Here you go. And they can play with it and they can chew on it after because it's strong enough. Uh, but at least they have to think about it and they have to actually spend time foraging for the food and trying to get it out and kind of working out how to do it. And it just, it takes up some of their mind and it takes up some of their time. So they've got something to do. So like before I get into a shower, maybe I'll put a little bit of peanut butter into one of these because it's not something they can choke on. And I only put a little bit like on the inside of the wall of it or such. Uh, Pickle, where'd you put the, where's the Kong gone? Madam? Yeah, I know, but no, 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 leave it. Um, so yeah, basically with these, they're just good for distracting them. So say for example, the, about two or three days ago, the landlord was up in the flat above mine and they were doing some sort of repair or something. I think they were getting a new fridge or a new oven, something like that. And there was a lot of banging going on. The dogs were really distressed. They were kind of like going to the doors. <laughs> Thank you. Where'd it go? Whee! Uh, they were distressed. They were kind of distracted and they were trying to figure out what was going on and they were a bit upset. So I gave them one of these and they're focusing on this instead. I like to give them to Beauty as well around Halloween and New Year's when there's going to be fireworks because she doesn't like fireworks at all. And it's something just for her to keep her mind off it and keep, keep her focus on something else, if you get me. So basically, I'm going to be using Kongs. I use... Hold on, we've got multiple Kongs. Leave it. I use these. These are... Basically, there's, there's a type of toy that's specifically made for this that is called a topple. And the topples are fantastic. They're very similar to the Kongs, but they're more cup-shaped like this. And they're durable and they're chewable and it's fantastic. However, they're like 20 or 25 euro a piece. And I don't want to have to pay that. These are like 15, 15 to 20 a piece, depending on where you get them. If you get like two packs or one packs and so forth. The red ones are not as strong as the black ones. The black ones I have never... None of the dogs in my family, anyway, have been able to break them so far. I'm not going to say I've never seen, because I have. But I don't want to jinx it. And touch wood, you are not allowed to break it. So, here's hoping. But topples cost a lot of money, and I don't want to have to pay that much. Because ideally, I want, like, seven of these a piece for each dog. So that I can, if I want, give them one a day. Because they're, they're not, they don't actually hold all that much. But I don't want to pay, what is it, 25 a piece? I'd want to give them seven, seven per dog, so 14, 14 by 25. I don't know, I'm tired, I'm not paying that much money, so I don't have to know it. These are silicone cups for children. And they are thick and heavy on the bottom to help them with, like, learning to hold a sippy cup. They've got grips on the outside, because again, children and their tiny hands, and they can lift it up. And if it drops, it's not going to break because it is thick silicone. With that in mind, I also have Oh, I'm sorry, and these are two for eight euros, so I, I would rather them. I also have licky mats, which are easy enough to use. It's literally just you put peanut butter or whatever on it to the level of the dots, and they spend ages trying to lick in between all the pieces. And these are the same idea as these, but they're much thinner, which is why Beauty will usually get these ones, because she won't destroy it. Yes, I see, buddy. Whereas Pickle will get these or the Kongs, because... She doesn't deliberately destroy it, she just, she's strong, and so she might put a hole in one of these, uh, which she did do. In fact, this might be it. Is this the one you put a hole in, buddy? Put a hole in one of them, or two of them. No, you only put a hole in one of them. I think it might be a green one. When she was chewing it, she accidentally, yeah, she put some small holes in it, which isn't terrible, but it means I'm not going to use this one again. Because if there's this much of a tear on it, I don't want her to get excited one day. She catches her tooth in it, she pulls, and she has a full chunk of it. She just swallows it. So I don't want her to accidentally uh, hurt herself with that. Whereas these, I'm happy to give them to Beauty because Beauty's very gentle with them. Because she just wants to get the food from the inside. She's not actually chewing. 
But again, anything you're giving your dog, just keep an eye on them while they're while they're using it, so that you know that they're not going to like tear it up or choke on it and so on and so forth. And this is my Wakanda Forever uh, popcorn bucket, which was <laughs> available in cinemas when it first came out. So uh, yeah, I use that because it's just convenient when you've got the empty ones. I just throw them in that, and then when that's full, I make a new batch. So I still have Licky Mats in the freezer, and I've got one of those delicate ones, and I've got two Kongs still in the freezer. But it's just, I have time today, so I'm going to go through them. And I know that she has one of the Kongs there on the floor somewhere. There it is. Uh-huh doesn't want to stay so I'll be using that. Today food wise I've got some of these little chewy treats that'll thaw fairly quickly. I have peanut butter. With peanut butter you want to make sure that it is uh, just peanuts or as close to just peanuts as you can and that it doesn't contain xylitol. So this is 96% peanuts and some vegetable oil and some sea salt. That is all that's in it. So it is a hit with them and this is an okay brand and everything. I can't tell you where this is from yes i can it's irish so i don't know what other brands people use because um i know a lot of people who watch my videos are american and i could not tell you what you guys are able to use just as long as it's either 100 percent pure peanut butter or as long as it just doesn't contain xylitol or birch sugar which is a type of sweetener because dogs can't have that i'm gonna use some grated cheese just because i can or shredded cheese whatever you want to call it not a lot of it though because it can be very bad for them. Low-fat natural yogurt. I found some diced up butternut squash, which they like, so we're going to throw some of that in. It's basically anything that'll fit in the hole of it is perfect to use. We have some baby food, which is a game changer because it's got multiple different flavors in it. It's easy. It's already in a paste form, so you can either put it straight onto a licky mat and then spread it around with like a little spatula, which came with those licky mats. Or a spoon and then you can just spread it around on it and then put it in the freezer or you can put it inside a kong i have cling film to block the holes on either end when it is full so that i can then put it into the freezer uh and i've got i think six of these so we've got apple strawberry strawberry banana raspberry and apple carrots apples and parsnips peach mango banana and apple we have sweet potato pumpkin apple and blueberry and we have pear pea and broccoli then we have sausage meat so it's pork sausage meat, and once again, it is just, it is just pork, pork fat, water, and the rest of that is just what is actually in it. Like, there isn't actually anything in there that they shouldn't have, so it's all good. And then we have some smooth chicken liver pate, which is, please focus, pork, chicken, water, milk, egg, salt, honey, dextrous, herbs and spices, but it's mustard and celery, which is all right. Bamboo, they can have all of that. And then, obviously, the cling film. So I'm going to just work away now and fill up these. And then they'll probably get one now that isn't frozen. <laughs> Did you want something, bud? And uh, then I'll refill it to freeze it for tomorrow or the next day. I'm also going to be watching some Criminal Minds while I'm doing this because it takes a little while. It's not something you need to focus on, potentially, or really. But uh, I just like to set myself up. I have my laptop. I have my Copperberg. It's alcohol-free, don't worry and my stuff to refill some spoons and knives and things and i just work away with a dog here and a dog here being judged for not sharing so one thing i didn't actually get a chance to mention while i was recording this originally is that the fact that there's a hole all the way through a kong but there isn't in the little cups so the reason why the kong toys have a hole all the way through is so that if a dog is licking say peanut butter out of the out of the main base hole if they stick their tongue in there, they can create suction and their tongue can actually get stuck. So that's why there's a little hole on the other end, even though it seems to be pretty useless that it's too small for you to really do anything with or for them to get anything out of. It's just there as like a safety, uh, safety precaution to make sure the dog doesn't actually get their tongue stuck. When you are filling it with food, you're obviously removing that safety precaution. However, there is such debate online about whether or not you should put, say, a straw or a chopstick or something like that through the middle to keep it open. And I used to do this. I used to put a metal straw or a silicone straw through the middle and I'd freeze it with the straw sticking out of both ends. And then when I'd give it to them, I'd remove the straw and I'd give it to them. And within two or three seconds of them starting to thaw out, the yogurt was then filling up the hole in the middle or the peanut butter was being moved to block the hole. And so it, it wasn't really doing anything. It was just making it more difficult for me to freeze. So what I've decided instead is if I'm ever freezing anything, 
I will give it to them, but I'm always going to be present to watch them and make sure they're not going to cause issues like that. With the uh, cup cover things, the little orange, yellow and blue guy down on the right hand side there, with those, they are so shallow that there isn't a risk, but also if you looked at them just before I actually um, started putting stuff into them, there is a hole on the other side because those are made to cover uh, the tops of glasses and beakers for children and they come with straws and the straws go into those holes to make sure that the kid isn't spilling it everywhere. So there is a hole on the other side if necessary and then the little silicone cups in the middle there, they are shallow enough that I'm not worried about it, but I'm still going to keep an eye on them. And if at any point they, I want to, I can easily put a hole in the bottom of them because it's silicone. You can just put a scissors or a knife or something like that through it fairly easily. Or a drill, but I don't, I don't have a drill. I do need a drill, but I don't have one. Um, so you can put holes on the other side of them. And if you do, either use silicone, oh sorry, not silicone, uh, what's it called? Cling film. You can use either cling film or you can block it with a lump of peanut butter. That kind of stuff. <laughs> Pickle tried to steal the food there. Um, you, can use, you can use several things to try to block the hole enough that... The stuff will not fall out the other side, like the yogurt isn't going to leak out of it. But it is still there so that when the dog gets to the very end of it, there is a far less chance of them actually causing hassles for themselves. So with the Kongs, I like to put fairly solid foods about halfway up, like the butternut squash there. Because by the time they've gotten that out, it gives time for the stuff in the very end to kind of start thawing a bit, like the yogurt or peanut butter and so, and so forth. Uh, so by the time that they're actually at risk of doing that, the hole in the other end has thawed out, so they can uh, they can avoid the whole suction issue. Uh, another thing, just to note, because I didn't um, I didn't realize until the very very end, is um, if you're putting cling film on to block the hole on the other side, make sure you put it on tight enough. Make sure you're not you know rushing through it. And I was only paying half attention because, as I said, I was watching from no minds. And uh, you'll see the red con closest to me there in the front. The cling film actually gives out on it, and all the yogurt falls out. And so I had to rewrap that, um, unfortunately. But it's all good. It just means that one's not going to have yogurt in it. And then one of the black ones also has kind of sprung a leak last second. So you'll see it now in a minute. I top it off with some of the baby food. And then you can see after a minute or so, it just kind of collapses on me. And the baby food start going, yep, there it goes. Uh, which is a pity, but it's okay. It'll be fine. It doesn't usually happen, I swear. Uh, I just, I was just being lazy and too fast this time, I suppose. Okay, so on this we have yogurt, we have peanut butter, we have some of the chicken liver pate, and we've got one of the baby food things. I actually don't remember which part, which um, which flavor I ended up using. In these we've got some of the, a little bit of everything I think. The only thing I ended up not using at all was the sausage meat, because the pate container had enough to put a little bit in everything, in all of the vessels, I don't know what to call them. Um, so I didn't end up using the sausage meat at all. So I'll just save that for the next time. I'll just freeze it and then I'll thaw it the day before I want to use it for the next bunch. So I'm going to put all of these into the freezer. Uh, oh, and I um, I didn't notice. But the cling film I put on this was not good enough. <laughs> and so it fell off the top. And so all the yogurt is in the bottom there. So that one doesn't have much yogurt in it. And unfortunately, the same has happened with this one. Where it has kind of sprung a leak. So make sure you use enough cling film at the end. Uh, or they can they sell these little these little stoppers. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's actually Kong that sells them. I think they're just um, someone three D printed them or designed them. I don't know what it is. And you can put a little stopper in the bottom. Or sometimes what I usually do, which I didn't do today, don't you dare, you thief, uh, is I put a blob of peanut butter at the bottom of it just to make a seal before I put the cling film. But uh, I I forgot. So yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, that might be a small issue, but it's all good because usually Beauty gets the red ones. Get out of it. Uh, Beauty gets the red ones and Pickle gets the black ones, but it'll even out. It's all good. So I'll pop all these into the freezer and they've been eating little snacks as we go. Uh, little bits of cheese and bits of butternut squash and stuff. So they won't get one today just because they've had a little bit of everything. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to pop all these in now so they can freeze and then we'll be good to go. So in the end, uh, I've popped all those into the freezer. We used three of these. That one's still half full, so I'll probably put it on their dinner tonight. Those are just entirely full. I haven't, uh, I haven't used them at all. I used one tub of yogurt, one thing of pate. There's only a couple of those left in the bottom, so I just kind of sprinkled them around the place, as you saw. 
We use most of a packet of butternut squash pieces and then I have the vast majority of my cheese left, all of the sausage meat and majority of that thing of peanut butter, which it wasn't a new jar to begin with. Uh, it already been, <laughs> pickle get out of it. It already been mostly used already. So like we still have a good bit left. And yeah, so that's it. So we made all those, we'll leave them to freeze and then tomorrow they can have say a licky mat at breakfast. And the next day they can have one of the Kongs after breakfast and so on and so forth. It just gives them something to do and it's a little bit different every day so that they can stay entertained and uh, <laughs> so they can have a treat without uh, without it just being here, take this and then be like, oh, thanks, eating it and be like, right, now what? It just makes it last a bit longer. It makes it a bit more interesting. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any tips or tricks or if there's something in particular your dog really likes to have, uh, let me know. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed, to be honest with you. It's the middle of the day, but it's bedtime, I think. Adios!